Everyone, Crafting Vicky here with you, and I thought I was gonna sh um, open up the camera because I was gonna make a birthday card. This is an image from um, the East Wind. I just think she's so beautiful, and the um, the flourish comes separate as well from the image if you want. So I colored her with my Copics, and uh, I wasn't too sure about the bird. How I was gonna how I was gonna color him. I think he came out okay, but he's kind of lost in in her hair, but I'm still leaving it as it is right now. And so this is a 6x6. Six six. It's uh, for uh, one of my employees and her birthday's coming up. And so I usually do, we usually do a card for the department and get everybody to sign and then we uh, collect some money and offer her offer whoever in the department has a birthday uh, a gift from the the department and I just think that's a cool way of um, having fun together so I'm the card maker so I I get to make the cards and uh, so I need to make a card and uh, I pulled out all the the different uh, sayings that I have that are happy birthday related, those all come from Create with TLC. She has such beautiful digis. She does offer freebies all the time. If um, I will try to remember to put down in the description box below the link to her blog. If I don't, please do um, comment and ask for it. Um, because yeah, if you you can go daily and and download um, images and, as well as sentiments that she she offers freely, like she's so nice. All you need to do is thank her. That'd be very nice. So I got a lot of them, and she also sells um, the sets, but they're very cheap. So it's a good it's a good thing if you want different letterings and different ways of doing happy birthdays and. They're really not that expensive and they last forever. So I'm just trying to figure out, I was thinking of using this one because that has a lot of flourish. So let's just cut out this one and that's the one that I'm gonna use. And usually, like some of the other ones, I would cut with my die cutting machine. But because this is, uh, this is just, you know, a little banner type of thing I, I would not so yeah so this is this is the happy birthday that's gonna go on there now I have I looked at my papers and I went through it fast because I didn't want to spend too much time on this and I found two sets that I really like this one is a buck 49 it was found at um at one of those uh, crafty places but it's forever in time and they have really cheap stuff uh, it's a 30 sheets and this is the type of stuff that you can find at dollar stores as well sometimes if you're lucky so there's a, a lot of beautiful papers in here that I'm thinking that she could go very easily on Not that one. I'm thinking like birthday related could be numbers but it's, she kind of gets lost on it I would prefer it to be kind of beige see this be nice this is not as nice so I kind of liked I think it was this one was nice and so was the first one and I've also pulled out my Prima, uh, Prima pack which is lifetime collection I really love those uh, it's really soft and and nice and I thought she'd be awesome on this and this with the beige could work well but I didn't look at the rest of them I don't want to have a paper that has uh, some sentiment on it already so this would be cool but like I said I'm not sure because it's a birthday card, I'm not sure that I want that. This could be fun. But it's very busy. This has a sentiment. This could be cool. This could be actually quite cool. 
and this would be a card done in itself. I wouldn't do any matting and anything to this. There's this one as well. She's very pretty. This one would require matting, however. And uh, and there's this one. That's one. That one is also very pretty. But you know what? I think I think this one stole my heart. And what's cool with using six by six, and that's one of the things that I've discovered. Um, when I used to make uh, scrapbooking pages, I would get the 12 by 12. But then when I moved into card making, 12 by 12 means that you've got four pieces of paper that are the same. And um, it doesn't always work out and you don't have a code. You know, like it's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of um, real estate for what you need, I would say. So here, I can just put her on here and do that and I think that really sets it off I don't think I need to do anything else actually because I really want the focus to be on the image and if I put anything else it would take off from it so yeah this is going to be a very very short video but it can be that short and that's why I wanted you guys to see my reasoning when I'm choosing the papers and stuff because I did get comments that you guys would appreciate seeing other uh, 6x6 cards that I make so this is one of them and I thought this would be a cool way of uh, sharing this with you all and uh, I hope you enjoy it let me know I mean if it's something that you don't like and because I like you saw I try to use the image that I've got on different types of papers and and kind of see what I, where I want to go I didn't have anything this was not the paper that I was thinking I was gonna go with it just kind of happened um, and it often does that so I just wanted to share that with you guys so that you see that you don't have to always it doesn't have to be always something like really um, fancy and very long the what would be long what is very long though is coloring the image I'll be honest with you like when I'm coloring a, a such an intricate image that's very long but at the same time I find it very soothing to color so to me it's not a big deal if if you don't like to color that's a different story I would su highly suggest that in that case that you use some uh, pre-colored images or toppers or stuff like that um, not everybody likes to color and that's fine and I get that it just keeps my my mind busy when I'm coloring and I'm, I'm not thinking of anything else right so that's the part that I really like I just try to because when I, I glued it on, there's certain little parts that are sticking off. And because of the flourish, I'm afraid it's going to get caught in something. I just want to put some Suquan tape on it. Come on. And uh, there she is. So that is it folks hope you like it if you do please do give me a thumbs up I'm looking forward to reading your comments and knowing if um, you appreciate this and if you don't that's fine too uh, please let me know okay bye everyone <laughs>